What's up people? So today I filmed this look using the Morphe 35P palette and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I started with this brownie purpley shade as the transition colour and um, by the off camera and then went in with this lovely, beautiful actually pigmented, very pigmented purple just in the crease um, and I didn't take it the whole way through the crease, just really the first, sorry, last two thirds roughly of the crease and then I used this MAC fluffy tapered brush and blended it out and I kept on going back and forwards with the blending because I wanted to make sure there were no harsh lines, you know? Yeah. So then I used this uh, brown colour and I used that just in the last third of my crease. I didn't want to use any black in this eyeshadow look because I didn't want anything too overpowering. So I wanted a smoky purple colour but I didn't want a really dark smoky purple colour. I wanted more of a, you know, kind of middle, middle ground kind of smoky. You know what I mean? I don't know if that made any sense. But yeah, so I just used that brown rather than, you know, using a black or something darker. And then again, I used that transition shade and that brown shade. And I used that to set, um, not really set I guess, but act as a base for the other eyeshadow I used. And I also wanted to make sure any gaps were filled so you couldn't see the um, primer that I used. So now, this beautiful purple shade that we used in the crease was the primary lid colour and it set the base also for when I added a shimmer on top uh, and I took a Morphe fluffy brush and blended that out because you know no harsh lines as we said <laughs> and also because you just want to make sure everything is quite flowy you know so then this beautiful beautiful shimmery shade went on just the first maybe two thirds of my eye I would say because I didn't want the whole little bit shimmery but I wanted there to be like half shimmer half not you know like a kind of gradient kind of effect so from the shimmer to the more smoky colour and I think it worked in the end and like always I added mist uh, added a mist sorry used the mist on the brush to um, make the eyeshadow more metallic and then using the MAC 217 brush, I just made sure I blended out that shimmery colour so there wasn't any, um, you know, harsh lines or there wasn't like a distinction between the lid colour and the rest of the colours in the eye look. So using this flat Morphe foundation brush, I just blended in my um, foundation, which I didn't use a lot of, but you know. And then I sped, 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 sped through my highlight and contour because I feel like everyone has seen this before. And I was listening to some major, major tunes. This playlist was on flickety, flickety, fleek. So there was a ton of dancing and Snapchatting and everything through this uh, tutorial. <laughs> Add my Snapchat, yes. And then I just think this Ben Nia powder is so cute. I brought the mini version. I didn't know that I brought it was going to be mini, but I just think it's so cute. Um, and then just again, I sped over just like I did with the contour and highlight. I sped through this part, you know, baking, contouring, all that kind of stuff. And check out my highlight and contour routine just in case you want to see this in more depth and with my voice in the background. <laughs> So after I blended out that setting powder, I used some micellar water to blend it out um, and make sure there wasn't any residue left from the translucent powder. And you can't see because I didn't 
uh, film it but with this purpley colour that, that I used before um, I just added some on the bottom lash line and this colour is so pigmented I didn't even have to add any black like I usually do and then just taking a clean fluffy Morphe brush blended everything through for those harsh lines and then warmed up the face using colours from my Morphe 35k palette which substitutes as a kind of bronzer for me I guess with my Shri Mora brush and then a bit of blush but the blushes aren't very uh, visible at all but yeah just something a bit different you know and the wrinkles are out today uh, so yeah that's it really and I just tied my head with this scarf because uh, my hair's out and I didn't want to style it and yeah <laughs> and highlighted 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 and add the lip the lip colour I did in the end that you'll see is actually I made it myself and if you want to see what I use check the description box so this isn't the actual lip colour that I stuck with in the end as you'll see they're quite similar but a bit different so yeah <laughs> for this shit.